Hi everybody, welcome again to my channel and welcome to one of my most favorite <laughs> scrapbooking layouts I've done in a while. Um, my classmate Patrick, this was a gift for he and his girlfriend Lily of their daughter's first year. Uh, I was invited to her first birthday party and my my classmate, he's a nut. He's so silly and, and funny and his their daughter Olive was born last November, so she just turned a year and this was a picture he took in the hospital shortly after she was born. And he wears these black rimmed glasses, right? And so he, of course, put them on her and because he's just funny like that. And he put it on Facebook and I copied the picture right away because I knew I wanted to scrapbook it sometime, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with the, paper, uh, the picture. And I was in Michael's and I want to say I got this paper pack there. It's one... Um, I want to say it like my mind's eye or something like that paper pack. But when I saw it, I knew instantly I had to buy it just so I could do this, this picture. And there she is just a little newborn and he's got his big old friend glasses on her. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was, it's just the cutest little, oh, I love, I love this picture. And now that she's, you know, older and developing her personality, you know, she's just as funny as he and Lily are and um, so I just he's always posting silly pics of them with crazy things on their heads or you know I don't know uh, the other day he's he posted a picture he's like this is what I get for taking a shower and it was her she was in the bathroom and she had dumped um, a whole bunch of dog food out on the floor just playing with it while he was in the shower <laughs> it was just the funniest thing you know what toddlers do so anyway um here I think I have my Amy Tan Stitch 6x6 paper pad and I'm just looking to mount this picture on something. I end up not using it vertically this page. I turn it horizontally and, and finish it that way. But um, yeah, he's he's always posting silly pictures of them and I just find myself wanting to do more and more. Uh, Lily, um, I don't think she scrapbooked yet. Last year we were talking about she was going to start and... Um, or maybe she had in the past a little bit, but nothing serious. And she works a lot. She has like, she, she does ultrasounds in hospitals and I think she works at three different ones. So she's really busy and Patrick just graduated. Um, so he's going to sit for his RN boards here pretty soon, but he works in the emergency room at Christiana hospital. And so they're busy people, but, uh, they really take time for family when they, when they're home and they do a lot with and for Olive and um, they're just going to be great, great parents. But anyway, yeah, so I made this gift for them and it's on that stand so they can decide which one they want to view that day or whatever, you know, just flip it around. But this one just kind of flew together here. I'm pulling out some gold um, embellishments and some florals and I want to say this is from the stitched as well. Amy Tan stitched. Um, for this gift, I pretty much stuck to um, some things from my Scraptastic kits and this Amy Tan stitch collection and the Maggie Holmes open book. And I find elements from the stitched and the open book go really well together. So I um, mix them up some. And I just love how all of these pages turned out. You just want to keep them yourself. <laughs> But of course you can't do that because it's for a gift. So anyway, I made these a couple months ago back in November for her first birthday party. And it's now after Christmas and I'm doing these voiceovers. So I'm really trying to remember um, my thought process here. I know I wanted the glasses to be a focal point, um, but it was looking kind of masculine and with the dark colors in the glasses. So I I needed to bring in some feminine aspects. So that's where the flowers are coming into play and some of the gold. And um, I just really love how this page comes together. Turned out really, really cute. And I'm trying to remember what that, what that says, that oval piece, or if it's just a picture of something. We'll see during the close-ups, but these were a lot of fun to make. I have to admit, I hadn't scrapbooked in a, in a month or so at this point. I had done um, the gift for Kelsey's wedding, and um, then I hadn't done anything for like a month. So my very first day making these pages, um, 
it took me a while to get warmed up and but then once I did I was just rolling with them so they went together pretty quick I got like 10 pages done in a day or two or two or three days and then I finished um, two at a crop when I went to a crop in November and uh, yeah I had a lot of fun making them but this page is just and I just recently bought a stamp set that had um, glasses on them in them I don't think I just did a a, a haul video on those yet but I'll show them to you it was too late already because of this but I when I saw that um, th that stamp said I had to have it and it would have been really cute for this page as well um, oh who was that I, I bought the stamp set through Simon says stamps but I can't remember the manufacturer off um, the top of my head but I'll do a, a share video here pretty soon because I have some things I wanted to show you that I've purchased recently and um, I, yeah I think the only thing left with this is I'm going to add some gold mist I'm just gonna sp splash down some uh, sprinkles of it to finish it off and to bring in a little bit more gold element since I have that um, oval thing up there and then the love 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 is done in gold it's kind of hard to tell so I'm using my he Heidi Swap Gold Lame for that and this page is complete I'm letting them do the journaling um, you know I might put a stamp on there here or there with the date but um, I'm gonna let them journal their own memories and such on there so but not much to say about this one other than Patrick uh, his sense of humor so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I'll talk to you later bye bye <laughs>